Okay, what we're going to do in this lab is measure the kappa number of this bulb here. To measure the kappa number, you have to weigh out some oven dry pulp. And in this case, we had a guess of 25 for the kappa number, so we weighed out two oven dry grams of pulp. And from this, you can see this is some soft wood pulp because I can see the long fibers in this. So we will take this pulp and we will put it in a beaker and then we will measure out 800 milliliters of distilled water and we will pour about half of it into this beaker. After that, you can see the fibers are flocked together. So if you did a kappa number, you would not get a good number. So we will take a blender and we will blend this pulp to distribute all the fibers. At this point, I'm gonna stir the stirrer up so I can create a small vortex to mix the slurry in. Now what we have to do, we have to add the chemicals in there. And uh, I'm going to show you the main chemical we're going to add is potassium or manganate. This is the chemical that will react with the lignin. So you can see the strength of this chemical is 0.1 normal. And we need 100 milliliters of this chemical. So 100 milliliters of the chemical added to a beaker. Now that we have the permanganate, uh, I'm going to also add to it 100 milliliters of sulfur four normal sulfuric acid because for the permanganate to react with the lignin in the pulp, it has to be under acidic conditions. So now that I have the permang permanganate and the acid, I am going to put it in, but I have to time the reaction for 10 minutes. So I'm going to take my cell phone, I am going to set it up for 10 minutes, and then once I have it set, I'm going to start my uh, stopwatch and also add the permanganate solution into the pulp slurry. As you can see, there's a little bit of the permanganate left over in the beaker, so I am going to take some of the water, eight, the water I had saved, and I will add it, uh, rinse out the beaker, and also into the reaction mixer. There, and you can see that the temperature is about 22 degrees centigrade. So you need to write that down on your uh, worksheet. Minutes, I dump the potassium. And now you see the color change and that will stop the reaction. So what I'm going to do now, so what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna titrate the reducing agent. I will have all this filled out. And you can see the concentration of the reducing agent or sodium thiosulfate is 0.2 normal, all right? So I'm going to keep adding this, and as I add this, you're gonna see that the color is going to change on this slowly. You can see slowly the orange is going away and this is becoming yellow and yellow. In theory, I could let this go from yellow to white but actually there's some iodine in there and to help me do the titration easier, you can, if you remember, if we have starch and iodine, it will turn dark blue and that this will make the color change be more prominent. So now you can see this is dark blue because of the starch. So I'm going to keep adding until this blue color disappears.
you can see it's getting lighter. One more drop, a couple more drops, and this will become completely, the blue color will go away. So now I have completed my titration, and now I can record uh, how many mils of the sodium thiosulfite I use. The other thing I want you to notice that the colors of the fiber when I first put them in was brown, and now because the potassium permanganate or the oxidizing agent has attacked the lignin and broken it down, you can see there's no more lignin left in there and the fibers have become colorless. So at this point, I'm done with my titration, but before I can complete my calculations, I really need to do the titration one more time. The difference this time is we will do exactly the same thing I did before, but we will not add any pulp, and that is called the blank. We do that so we can go ahead and calibrate all the chemicals and make sure that all the concentrations are correct. If the concentrations are off by a little bit, doing the blank will self-correct it. So we will do the same thing, and we are not going to do the blank, but if we did a blank and all the chemicals were correct, it would be 50 milliliters. So you need to write that down also on that chart under B per blank, 50 milliliters. So again, to summarize, at this point, you should have four numbers, W, weight of the pulp. You should have A, which is the milliliters of the sodium thiosulfide. You have the temperature, the temperature, and you have the blank. And now you should be able to do the calculation and calculate the kappa number.